Hey guys, we're here at the Susan Suzanne Morphew remains area. She was found right here in this grave. You can see where the bobcat has cleared the land and put it back. Uh, it's a very somber feeling right now. Also wanted to show you they have this spot over here marked. We're not gonna trample over it or anything like that. But this is the actual, looks like some more remains were found there. But the dogs, I'm trying to keep the dogs away from it. Zuma, Zuma, go, come on, come on, Zuma. Hey, come on, let's go, come on. But I just wanted to show you all the actual site. I got the old girl over there. Kaga, come on. So you could see literally right there is Highway 17. He just put whoever did it pulled in right here and came and dug this shallow grave. Come on, girls. Come on, let's go. So, um, but you're not going to believe this. I think I found, so this was a hole dug and covered up. And also over here was a hole dug and covered up. But guys, I think I found a bloody sheet or bloody rag. It looks a lot like blood. I don't know if there was a sheet involved in any of these remains, but I'm gonna go over here and show you all that. I wanted to say I apologize for the shaky and crappy service videos last night. I'm not going live anymore in the boondocks. So that was Susan Morphew's remains and this rag looks like it's pulling around in the wind over here. Come on, kids. Come on, yeah. Good boy. Yeah. Come on. Here's that creepy trailer I was telling y'all about. Looks like he was out of breaking bad. definitely going to document this and report it to the authorities because man to me it looks like a part of a sheet that's got dried up blood on it but I'm going to show you all and see what you think but I might have to call the law enforcement and see what they think about this so I don't know if y'all saw in the videos yesterday I said is that a floral pattern Sorry about the wind. Wind gust. Nipsey go, Nipsey go. But look at this, y'all. Look, is that blood? It look, appears to be a sheet. Looks like poke, possible poke marks in it. But it, that, man, that looks like dried up blood to me. I mean, it could be oil like for a dipstick or but this rag was clumped together right there last night. I never touched it. And it since dried because it rained last night and it's blown over here. But this is the boneyard. So, I mean, this is the boneyard, this area here, what they dubbed the boneyard. So, it's wild. definitely going to not touch anything. I don't disturb or touch or anything anymore. I've learned my lesson on that. So but we're definitely going to report this. It, it looks like a bed sheet, y'all. And you, you know how many folks get wrapped up in bed sheets when they're disposed of. This is my old girl Kaga right here. She's 15 years old and I know y'all going to say she looks real skinny, but I feed her two cans of wet food a day she gets pampered and I just gave him half a chicken breast but this is the boneyard sorry for the wind I'm trying to block it and uh Suzanne Morphew's remains were right there we got a possible bloody rag I could be totally wrong it could just be like oil rag given its proximity and where it's at.
definitely should be documented and tested. Um, I was hoping to, uh, I'd catch law enforcement out here, but I know they've been out here for so long. And um, But we got rain and look at the snow all over the peaks. That's Highway 17. It's a somber feeling knowing that poor Suzanne is, it was dumped just right there. But stay tuned, you're not going to miss uh, what I got coming up. We're going to continue this search across this boneyard with the dogs. We're going to mark this rag, notate it, see what we can come up, come up with. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Blessings. Don't forget to like and subscribe, please. We sure appreciate you.